This is a piece of advice for you if you ever do something. Just don't do what everybody else is doing <clears throat> and think it's wonderful because you're doing it. The world couldn't care less, actually. You care. You think you're wonderful. The world doesn't care if you're in an area that's being well-serviced. So what we did is we sat around and said, okay, we're going to start a business. Let's start something unique. Um, and, 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 and that's our distinctive thing. So, we, 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 you know, we, we, we looked at a three-part plan. First, go into the M&A advisory business. Why? We knew it. It requires no capital. Second, we wanted to go into what was then called the LBO business, which is the private equity business. That was the best business on the planet, uh, except investing in Google in the first round. Uh, and, you know, I had advised the, the several of the firms that existed in private equity. There were only several of them, uh, and nobody wanted to even underwrite them. I had to get special dispensation to do underwritings for, for, for some of these guys because they thought they were like nothing. Uh, and the third uh, piece of what we wanted to do uh, was, was to wait for periodic changes in finance. And uh, if there was something that was happening that was like, an amazing opportunity uh, that we wanted to do that. Uh, we decided we'd only do it in two circumstances. Uh, the first is if we could hire somebody who was a 10 out of 10, uh, because then we know we would crush it because we wouldn't know that field. And the second is if that business generated intellectual capital. So it made our existing businesses much stronger. If it didn't meet those two tests, we wouldn't do it. And, and, and so we took that strategic plan and we mailed it to everybody. And, and nobody gave it. Uh, you know, it was amazing. Uh, and I thought it was a really good plan. By the way, it's 34 years later. It was a really good plan. We're still doing the same plan. Yeah, it was a really good We've plan. We've never changed. We just are executing the same thing. And we wait around until there's something really neat, so good. Even I can't screw it up. So you have to pass up little things and only do really, really big things. So, so that's, that's, um, that, that was our plan. And you know, it, it ends up now, you know, they have different names for this, uh, intellectual capital production. This is like data. We've been doing this since 1985 because knowledge is power in finance. Everybody thinks the same, more or less. I mean, you all test well, you, know, you all go to good schools. Uh, you all get well trained. So how do you win the game? You have to you have to have knowledge other people don't have, and and to do that you have to produce uh, that knowledge, and then you have to figure out how do the pieces fit. Uh, you know how do you see something in one area that tells you what's going to happen in another area, and if you have that and you can mine that, and now they have names for this, data mining. Okay. It's just information and seeing patterns yeah. which lead you uh, to, to, to other opportunities.